The American soldier suspected of shooting 16 Afghan civilians Sunday morning was based at Joint Base Lewis McCord outside Seattle, Washington. And this is the headline in the local paper there this morning, the Seattle Times. One of America's largest military bases is also one of its most troubled. National correspondent Ben Tracy is there this morning. Ben, good morning. Good morning. You know, the fears that the fallout from this shooting will tarnish the image of the U.S. military, and that's definitely a concern here at Joint Base Lewis McCord. They've had so much recent controversy here that this has been called a base on the brink. The chilling photos of murdered women and children in Kandahar shocked those in this community. But one military veteran says the revelation that the accused shooter came from here is not so hard to believe. I'm not really surprised, especially when I heard that this soldier was from Joint Base Lewis McCord. It was kind of like, it figures. The suspect deployed from this sprawling military installation, home to 100,000 soldiers and civilians. And more than any other base in the country, Lewis McCord has come under fire for the behavior of its soldiers. It had trouble both when it was over in Afghanistan with the kill team, as it was called, of the rogue soldiers who were um, targeting Afghan civilians. And then it also had trouble on the home side when soldiers were coming back. The military newspaper Stars and Stripes dubbed it the most troubled base in the military. After a dozen Lewis McCord soldiers, led by Staff Sergeant Calvin Gibbs, were charged with killing three Afghan civilians for thrills. Gibbs was sentenced to life in prison in November. Here we are a few months later and another soldier base at Lewis McCord in the very same area of Afghanistan has now been accused of committing the same civilian atrocities. Here at home, more violent acts tied to this base. Staff Sergeant Jared Hageman committed suicide last June after eight deployments. New Year's Day, 24-year-old Fort Lewis veteran Benjamin Barnes gunned down a National Park Ranger. And last month, the head of the base medical center was fired for reversing claims of post-traumatic stress disorder. The hundreds of soldiers um, with PTSD now, post-traumatic stress, the domestic violence issues have gone up, the DUI cases have gone up. It's soldiers are being redeployed at a constant rate. It's finally catching up to these soldiers that there definitely is a problem and they don't have time to heal. Now, we don't yet know what, if any, role PTSD played in the actions of this shooter. We did put a call into folks here at the base for a comment, but so far, they are not talking. Ben, thank you very much.